For those of you going to Mexico this spring break, there's a few nonverbal communication strategies that you should be aware of. First, note that the Latin American culture is a very collectivistic culture, meaning they consider themselves to be a part of an in-group with everybody, unlike us Americans who are very individualistic. Um, and they are high context, meaning they rely little on the spoken word and more on the expression of the nonverbal expressions. Which brings me to proxemics. Latin Americans are very close. Consider their public space to be, or their personal space to be more like our public space. So they are already pretty close. Um, so when you're talking to somebody, if you back away, that's considered very unfriendly. Um, as far as when you're talking to your friends or your relatives as an as a Latin American, um, they use a lot of touch, they're haptics. Um, one being, you'll often see them give besitos, which are little kisses on the cheeks to your friends or family or loved ones, and as well as accompanied by an abrazo, which is a little hug that they greet with. And the handshakes in Mexico or Latin American culture, um, they hold on longer. It doesn't really necessarily go off of the strength of the handshaker. It's it's more um, more of how you appreciate somebody through the touch of it. Um, which brings me to kinesics. A few nonverbal hand gestures that you should be aware of are, for one, they often salute their elders. They'll say, hola, jefe, which means boss. Um, or the, the respected one. So you'll see that. Um, when they want to call somebody cheap, there's a lot of bargaining going on in, in Mexico specifically. So the word for cheap, if somebody's kind of cheap, you'll see the elbow rubbing on the palm a little bit. And usually somebody will say, oh, colo or something. Um, opposite of that would be rich, which is, oh, this person has money, uh, rico. Um, and then another one that is kind of not self-explanatory is when they get excited, they, it looks like they're about to snap and they kind of just wave these fingers in this motion. Um, one thing you don't want to do in Mexico or around the Latin American culture is give an okay symbol, which usually means perfect for us. It does not mean the same thing. Um, it's more of a derogatory ver word. Um, and which brings me into their paralinguistics. Usually, uh, the tone of the voice is something that people rely on. You'll notice that the tone is a bit more friendly around the people who they have longer history with. Also, um, they usually speak very loud. Uh, that's that's pretty much the, well, for us, it would be considered pretty loud. Um, the physical appearance, you'll often see a lot of colors being flashed. They're a very optimistic uh, culture. They live in the now, so they kind of represent that through their clothes. Um, chronemics. Chron 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 they are polychronic, which means there's a lot of ways that they perceive time. So don't expect you to lend your car to a Latin American and tell them they want it, you want it back by 4.30 because to them that just means sometime in the evening. Um, they often, they often for oculistics, they often point with their eyes when they want to display that they want to speak to somebody. However, when they are speaking to somebody, just a formal conver conversation, eye contact, direct eye contact is not necessary. It's kind of considered more aggressive um, unless you're trying to flirt, which in that case, defin definitely use uh, eye contact the whole way. And their olfactics, they kind of mirror the American culture. They think hygiene's good. And they wear deodorant. They cover up with perfume or um, cologne. So that's that's not much different. Just make sure to pack 
some deodorant. Um, otherwise, I think you are set to go to Mexico.